Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a tutorial with this huge Anastasia PR box. I think you guys already saw it on Instagram, but if you didn't see it, this is the huge box. So this box contains the new blush kits, ingredient and radiant. Also the new prism eyeshadow palette, three new liquid lipsticks, a glow kit and then a liquid lipstick set. I also sent along a cute necklace. So I use the Prism eyeshadow palette on my eyes, as you can see, obviously. And I really, really love the look because if I look like this, it's just a really nice sunset kind of look. But if I look down, you can see the green popping up. So this is definitely way out of my comfort zone, but I definitely love this look. Then I also tried out the blush kit and the glow kit, and I'm also wearing a liquid lipstick. If you are excited to see this video, give it a thumbs up, and um, yeah, let's get right in. Into it. So I already filmed this look before but um, it went totally wrong because my eyes started watering so bad and I just couldn't save the look. Um, I've been struggling with really dry and watery eyes um, so if you guys have any tips for me please let me know. I do use some sort of eye drops but um, I'm ordering some different ones to see if I to see if it makes any difference. But it's really annoying because it always starts to water on the inner corner right there and I just can't help it. Um, so today I didn't apply any cream to my eyes. Hopefully that will help. Um, and as usual I'm going to use my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. So I usually apply this with my fingers but today I'm just going to try and apply it with my brush. And now I'm going to blend this in with my finger. And I'm just going to blend it in a little bit on the inner corner, but I'm not going to apply too much, so hopefully that will help. And so usually I apply my RCMA powder on top of that, but for today I'm just going to use my face powder. Set the base with a beauty blender instead of a brush. And this powder. Okay, so the first shade I'm going to go in with is the shade Sphere, and I'm taking that on a Morphe E22. So this shade is definitely one that really stood out to me when I first saw the palette. So I was very, very excited to use it because it's a very unique shade. It works very well, you can build it up really easy, and um, the pigment is pretty good, but it's not too much so that with the first appliance you have way too much product it, is, it actually is pretty nice r like this but I'm just gonna build it up a little bit more so that I get a more intense um, feel now the next shade I'm gonna go in with is Saturn and I'm taking this on a Morphe M506 and I'm really gonna focus this shade in the lower crease And I'm holding my brush pretty far so I can really blend in this shade. And I'm also going to apply this shade to the outer V right here. And a bit onto the lash line. I'm not wearing any foundation right now, but if you do, I would recommend to apply a um, some tape or a shadow shield so you can really make this shade really nice and sharp. Back in with a little bit more of Sphere and I'm blending those two shades together. And I'm also blending out this wing sort of shape. I'm deepening up the crease a little bit more with Saturn. I'm taking the shade Lucid on this Sigma Lash Fan Brush. And I'm just gonna highlight the brow bone. 
So next up I'm gonna cut the crease and I'm using my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and an E56 brush by Sigma. So the shape I cut is a half cut crease but I also left some room right there so I have a sort of invisible eyeliner. Um, and I'm not taking it up too high, I'm leaving it around this. Now I'm taking Saturn on a detailed lip and I'm gonna use this to sharpen up the line. You guys always see me do this. If you haven't seen my cut crease tutorial, definitely check it out because I have a very, very in-depth tutorial on how to do a cut crease, even if you're a beginner or have hooded eyes. I will put it in the screen and I will also link it down below. And this time I'm also gonna do the same around here, so towards the lash line. I'm going to dampen up my MAC 242 brush and I'm gonna dip it into the shade Throne. I'm gonna apply this shade to the blank lid. So my inner corner is starting to water again, so I'm gonna leave it like this and then do the inner corners last. Um, so I'm just gonna quickly fill in this eye and then I'll be right back. So as I said, I'm gonna leave the inner corners for a bit and now I'm just gonna work on the lower lash line. So the first shade I'm gonna go in with is again Prism and I'm taking that on a Morphe Y22 brush. I have no problem with dragging this shade really low because I still need to apply my foundation and concealer and this will ensure to really make a nice blend for the shade I'm gonna apply on top. And I wanna connect this shade with the outer corner and then really smoke it out. Going back in with a little bit more of prism to blend the lower lash line. So what I like most about this look is that if I look straight, you definitely see the orange and the yellow, but when I close my eyes or when I blink, you can really see the green pop on the lid. So now I'm just gonna apply some mascara, some falsies, and I'll be right back to finish off the inner corners. And the lashes that I'm gonna wear today are the Lily Lashes in the style Olivia. So now it's time to move on to the inner corners. And I'm going to take a small MAC 231 brush and I'm dipping in the shade Pyramid. Now I'm just going to wipe away all this excess product and I'll be right back. And then this is the eye look done. So I zoomed you guys back out and I'm quickly going to do my... That was my cat. I'm quickly going to do my skin makeup and I will make a Instagram video of that. So if you want to see that, I will link it down below so you can see every single product I used. Um, but I'm going to stop. I'm going to do everything up until bronzer and then with the blush, um, highlighter and lipstick, I'm going to go back to the Anastasia PR box. Okay, so now it's time for the big box. Okay, so for this look, I think I'm going to use the Radiant Blush Kit. Obviously, I'm going to go in with this very orange shade and it is called Coastline. And I'm using a Anastasia A19 brush. definitely are very very pigmented so you can also use them as eyeshadows because the littlest step gives this payoff which is insane so I'm gonna go over with my powder brush just to um, just to make it a little bit softer I actually also want to apply a little bit of the shade below that and this one is called breeze and then, of course, I'm going to move on to the glow. This time, I'm not going to use my own brand, Meraki Cosmetics, but I'm going to use the new Anastasia Sugar Glow Kit. I believe that three of the highlighters in this palette are already existing highlighters, but were in three separate 
glow kit if i'm not mistaken and they put all the favorite highlighters in this one and i also added a new shade i'm not quite sure if it's gumdrop or starburst i think it's gumdrop but i'm not quite sure don't quote me on that but today i think i'm gonna mix a little bit of marshmallow which is this shade with the shade starburst which is that shade first i'm gonna give my face a nice spritz and i'm using the tarte ready set radiant skin mist By the way, I'm using a Morphe M501. And of course, also on the nose. And I'm also going to apply a little bit of the shade Marshmallow to the inner corners just to brighten them up a little bit more. So for my lips, I'm going to use the new shade Starfish and I think it will go really nice with this eye look. And then this is the finished look with all of the Anastasia. Well, not all of them, but but I use as much but I use as much products as possible. So I hope you guys love this look. I definitely love it. I think it's something different, especially the cut crease. Something I never did before. I just really came out of my comfort zone with this new palette. Overall review, I really really love the product. Um, the eyeshadow palette is amazing. But then again, I also loved the Subculture palette. If you didn't see my video um, on that, I didn't do a review, but I did three looks with the palette and I will link it somewhere up here. Um, but yeah, overall, I think the products are very, very nice. The blushes are very, very pigmented. The new lipstick shades are amazing. Glow Kit is very pretty too. So yeah, overall, I really like the products. I hope you guys liked it too. If you did, then please a thumbs up this video. I don't have a upload schedule, so if you don't want to miss any video, then subscribe to my channel and also click the notification bell. You can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Both is Kim Ter Stege, the same as it is here. And I really want to thank you guys for watching. I love you all and I will see you in my next one. Bye!